Hello, welcome to my channel, Lady J. My name is Glennis. So today I'm going to be, I'm testing out this product. <laughs> Y'all, this is my third intro or fourth intro for this video. And I not once did I mention what I'm doing. <laughs> because I'm rusty. I have not recorded in about two months. You guys are currently seeing my product stash videos um, in today's 23rd of December. But I'm going to be testing out this Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. However, I already tried it wearing my hair in twists and I didn't like it. My hair was fluffy, dry, not, I didn't get a whole, my hair was bone brittle dry. Um, I'm sure I did use a cream, but I don't remember what cream I used it with. But what I'm going to use this as, I'm going to use this as my heat protectant. Reason being, actually I've already tried this three times twice on my sister and once on my mom and their hair was fine except that I can't really because they come and they get their hair washed and then they leave so I can't tell you the lived in state of their hair but the reason why I want to use this as my heat protectant for my straight hair um something like this you would spray it and but you won't get every single strand of your hair, won't get um, any protection. With this foam, because, the, because it's a foam, each and every single strand will get, will be coated in the heat protectant. Um, hence, should be better protected from the heat. Now, I'm gonna, blow out with this and then the flat iron is on the floor um so but point is i know it works because i've done it three times and there's no heat damage the the point is is i want to see this is my leave-in and my heat protectant the point is i want to see how my hair will feel from wash day to wash day with this um, this obviously this is not gonna be the only product eventually that's gonna be my hair. Um, oils will be my friend over the winter months. Um, uh, during my hair, when my hair is in a straight stretch state, I've sh clarified my hair with um, Nature's Little Secret Cucumber Shampoo, and then. I did the Joyco K-Pack, which is uh, a flash treatment, flash um, protein treatment, meaning two to three minutes. But Glenn has had the brainwave of going under uh, the dryer. And when I was rinsing it out, my hair felt very, very strong. <laughs> my hair feels very strong. I was like, I'm actually rethink i want um, i was rethinking it when i was rinsing it out of my hair like do i really want to blow out this hair um but i want to wear my hair straight for the next few weeks at least and let's see what happens with this nairobi foam um i'm gonna section off my hair i'm probably gonna do the the back and maybe one of these sections and I'll come back with one of the front so you can see what it what it's doing. Um, I've already detangled my hair with the conditioner. So it should my hair is good to go. But of course, um I have a brush here. Why am I even trying to make I shouldn't yo I'm trying to make the the part straight, but the comb is not helping me. Okay. Alrighty. Let me go section this off. Let me, I'm going to go blow out some of this and then I shall be back. Okay. I'm back to do this section, but, uh, as you can see, um, hair i'm not even gonna try all the way around um i like but um my hair 
like I'm gonna show you when I do it here but you know with some um heat protectants uh, when you apply heat your hair feels stiff and or tacky nope my hair feels soft the thing with this um foam is that it's heat activated like the heat pro the heat protecting properties is activated once you apply heat now this is dry now i don't i mean it's damp but mostly dry but because this is so watery i'm not gonna apply water to it um my hair feels very light very silky fluffy ish hence the bigness um i'm using quite a lot though which i don't care so let's see i think for this one i'm going to use two pumps so two pumps you know what let me see some um oh this doesn't say what the ingredient listing this doesn't have the ingredients listed because i saw foam um and it has C14 olive and sulf C1416 olive and sulf in it. In it. So I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Okay. So as you can see, it's applied. Then I use this brush to somewhat distribute it more. And even though it probably is on the end, I just will put a little bit more because, you know, you got to baby those ends. So then I do that and brush it out. And then I go in and I start from the bottom. Oh, I go in, start from the bottom and work my way up. Some of, some of the times though I didn't, sometimes I started at the top and work my way down. Uh, but I, Voila. Now, here's this. This is what it's looking like. Um, this is, oh, I just realized this wasn't all the way turned up. I just realized that I did most of my head and it wasn't even turned up. But I thought I was going quickly. But we shall see. Okay. Now, because this is a brush, I don't really get my ends straight. Um, and I prefer it that way. I'll just, I'll let, when I'm flat ironing out, let that do its job. Now, if I, yeah, if I was um, wearing my hair in a blowout state, I'd have perfected the ends, but. I'm gonna flat iron the hair. Okie dokie, keep it moving.
So here's the thing that I noticed with my hair. I have about, my, my hair shrinks about 50%, whatever that is supposed to mean. Healthy, it's 50%. okay oh i'm done i'm done um my hair feels smooth very light um but soft it does not feel stiff there's no tacky feeling to it um it is, yeah, it's not, doesn't feel, I don't know. It, I've, look, I've blown out my hair, flat on my hair many times. And this is the softest my hair has felt um, after blowing it out. I know that I can tell this is the softest. It feels almost like a silkiness to it. Um... So, poof will be in the pudding when I rinse this, when I shampoo wash my hair out. And um, Although I, I wouldn't necessarily can't blame this um, because I did do this on my sister's hair without flat ironing her hair. And her curls came back. Um, but I am going to go flat iron my hair. I am going to put actual, another heat protectant in it for the flat ironing process. But... I just wanted to report back. My scalp is dry. My It feels really good, y'all. But anywho, I will come back um, uh, on a wash day so that you can see for yourself what happens. We will find out together. And I'm going to blame the flat iron and not the, <laughs> and not the Nairobi. Okay. Um, I'll be back. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this clip, but this is, um, after I've blown out the hair with Nairobi, flat iron it, I put in heat protectant, ugh. And then flat iron it and trimmed Ugh. and trimmed I'm forever trimming <laughs> I'm forever trimming or cutting my hair um, I don't know let's see here anywho it is chess that's where it is chess um, hold on let me part it so that and this is not no see like this is not no professional trim oh i should have did the the trim that um i saw what's her name lord jesus jamie j mac naturalista did but oh well um 
see where is this where is this and why are you bugging me there we go that's what i do i'm forever trimming it because it's so satisfying too and the sandwich okay now here's the problem what do i do with this <laughs> what do i do with this i'm gonna go put some coldly oil my hair feels really good by the way literally it's just the nairobi and this i didn't even put this in my hair i usually do for quick drying purposes but the nairobi um dried my hair real quick um and of course my dyson blows my hair out quickly too um oh this is a spray oil oh jesus um smells good anywho i am thinking to just wrap the hair then the thing is is that they had all these kinks and bends in it when you do that so if you all know what people do i'm just gonna spray this in my hair so that this be done quickly what do you do with your straight hair i mean and keep it straight and if that's even possible i don't know Oops, sprayed it on my face okay so i'm just gonna brush this out again so that this oil is evenly distributed and clean up the mess that is my hair that's everywhere i mean let me see and then there's a pile on the floor that i also cut whatever y'all it'll go back um i'm not i don't really this length i like having had long hair tailbone length hair it is not all that it's cracked up to be, please, y'all. People want long hair. Mm -mm. Anywho. So, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to come back um, one day. No, no, wash day. Next wash day. Isn't that what I said earlier? Wash day. Um, But my hair feels really good. Let's see what it feels like in the morning. How about that? after it is I'm just distributing the oil I have a boar bristle brush somewhere that would have been better than this but whatever but it feels so good to get down to my scalp y'all oh my gosh it feels so good to get to your scalp anywho <sighs> just distributing this oil um yeah okay i'm done playing with it now bye okay y'all this video is getting on my nerve first the intro i had to do it three times because i finally went back and watched the footage my outro i could have sworn i did it all already like before then I couldn't find the footage because, hey, look, you're, you're seeing this, like this right now is 7-12 today on Sunday the 5th. <laughs> I thought I did the outro with my thoughts way back when. Um, then as I go edit it, I couldn't find it. So I recorded it. Go watch the footage. And it's not what I wanted. <laughs> so I'm doing this again anywho so um when what you what you saw me use the nairobi um was my first impression actually should have been my first impression that i'd done the um the outro months back this is now march <laughs> it would have been but i've since used this um and k18 um since but so let me just let me just do that and then do this um my hair my hair has been so again when you um put heat protectant 
heat protectant spray, heat protectant or whatever. For some reason, your hair feels stiff, it feels brittle um, and, you know, hard. With this, that was not the case. My hair was felt soft. My hair felt, um, I don't know. It just, it just, the only thing I can say is that my hair felt soft, which to me, it didn't, obviously then if it were, if the, the opposite of soft meaning, it, it was, it wasn't going to break easy. That's in my head. That's what I was thinking. It's like, oh, my hair feels so soft. It's not going to snap. Um, you know, sometimes when you put the heat protectant, maybe we're putting too much and, but we don't know, right? I don't know. I don't How How do you know how much heat protectant to put on your hair when you're spraying and you need to make sure that every strand get, but it's not going to, every strand is not going to get some. With this, because of the foaming mechanism of this, you can see that every strand was getting some of this. Now the heat protectant ingredient in here is polyquat. Polyquat 23. Um, you, the, the ingredient listing is not listed here, but I've done some investigation and saw that the heat protectant in here is Polyquat, polyquat 23. Um, so that was that with, I used the, my, I, I'd use the conditioner and then I used this as my leave-in and heat protectant. And then I think when I watched the footage, that I did use um, some um, silicone heat protectant, which does a, I've had that forever. Um, but for, when I washed my hair, I had no heat damage. Then next wash day, actually I just, what I did over the winter months was that I straight hair two weeks, one hair, one next week when I washed, I would twist my hair up. Next week, I blow out my hair, flat iron it again. And that's what I did for the rest of the winter months was this and this. Um, without the, I don't, I don't remember reusing the, um, the silicone heat protectant. Um, so I don't remember using that. So I remember, this is what I had in my head. Is these were the two things that I used for the remainder of the months that I, remainder of the, um, times, which was, I think I did it two or three more times. Um, now, K18 is not a heat protectant. K18 tells us it's not a heat protectant. So I was not relying on K18 as my heat protectant, but K18 that does strengthen your bonds in your hair and to make it obviously stronger, but you still need heat protectant, right? You still need heat protectant. And what I I liked about this, as I said, is that I th I think I said it is that this is heat activated. So when you when you apply the heat, it protects the hair. The heat activation apply. I mean activates. And you know, as you as as you saw me blowing my hair out, my hair was getting um, the protection that it needed. Also, my hair was drying fast, but. I didn't even realize too that my, because I remember, and I just rewatched the video. I remember I was like, man, this is taking me, I was blow drying my hair. And I was like, wow, this is real quick. And then as I got to the front section, then I realized actually my blow dryer was on cool. <laughs> or I think it's the, like the second setting. I usually put it, I usually put it high volume of hair, like the air and high heat so it was on this i think it has three settings so it was on the second setting so which it was pretty much cool to warmish um heat that i was using on for the majority of my hair that first time but this trust me the second and third time oh no it was on high blast heat high blast but um hair velocity thingy whatever i don't know what what word i want to use there but whatever my point is, my hair stayed soft from wash day to wash day, and I got no heat damage. I got no heat damage. Now, granted, my hair, my individual strands are thick. They are thick. <laughs> and I've, I'm also 
when I flat iron my hair, my, my, my flat iron is a ceramic flat iron and I use it at 370 and I only do one pass. I am not the one that will go two and three times to get um, a sleek look. For me, the sleek look starts with the blow drying, making sure your hair is really, really dry. And so, and when I flat iron my hair, I use the tension method with a, oh, here it is. Oh, good. Here it is. With, with this, um, which I bought, I, the first one I bought was from Amazon and, and it broke is this, I use this to hold my hair, um, taut and then put the flat iron one pass i'm good to go so i don't i don't do the two and three so what you saw in the video was was me just doing one pass with this but anyhow it was such a lovely experience that i repurchased this but of course you know i got a ton of heat protectant lying around this place like here that i need to also use those up um but my mom and my sister are pretty much straight hair natural so they'll help me use it up. Anywho, um, no heat damage, hair felt soft, which is what I wanted. Um, it didn't get the tacky feeling. Um, what more can you ask for, for, a, for a heat protectant? And of, you know, of course it, um, for me, the aha was every strand was getting some of the heat protectant on it, um, applying blow drying and flat ironing my hair. Every strand was getting some heat. And it worked. So I did it at least, I think, four times over the winter months. So it's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.